Hello? Hey, it's Carol from the, the Homeowners Association. Yes. Hey, we're having a secret meeting tonight. We we gotta we gotta just uh you know have a secret meeting to talk about Sharon. You know, Sharon we're gonna we're gonna figure out what to do about her. So if you if you could be there tonight, it's gonna be at my house. Wait, this is Sharon No, we're we're gonna be talking about Sharon. You're, no, you're, this you're, is Sharon. You're Sharon. You called me. Yes. Oh my goodness. Why are you going to be talking about oh, me? What have I, I done? I am so. so I thought I was calling Brenda. I, no. I, I, I why didn't, are you going to be talking about me? I I didn't mean to call you. I was. We're, we're, I. We're, you're not supposed to know about this, and you're not allowed to show up. Why? What is this about? Well, it's we 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 just uh, you know we we've got. Some, We've got some secret me meeting business to talk about. We, we just, uh, you know, we got things to do. It's just, uh, you know, I know normal. Well, you're, you said you are going to be talking about me. In what way? Oh, no, no I think you misunderstood me, ma'am. I, no, I, I, I didn't misunderstand you. No, I, I like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, uh, we, we're just having a normal meeting. Just a normal, everyday, average meeting. But what are you going to be talking about? Oh, uh, you know. You said you were going to be talking about me. Oh, no. And I, I'd like I, to know I don't why. think I said that. No, we're just talking about budget. Yes, you did. Budgets, yes, you did. Budget things and, you know, infractions. We're just talking about. Well, I'd like know. to come to the meeting. I'd like to come to the meeting oh, I, I don't, since I live here. Well, th this meeting is for men only. Well, you thought. When I answer the phone, you knew I wasn't a man. Well, no, I thought Where you were Brenda. I, be? I thought you were Brenda, and, and don't assume Brenda's gender. Br I know Brenda, and she is a female. Well, you know, outwardly she's a female, but inwardly she, you know, she she identifies as a male. Well, I know Brenda, and I'm going to call her, and I'm going to tell her what you said. No, you're going to tell him what you said. Uh, you need to respect her pronouns. I mean, I mean his pronouns. No, I'm going to call. I'm going to call him, and her, and I have your number. Him, because it came up on my phone. Oh dear. Bomb. Oh gosh. It came up okay. as what? It came up as what? With your name and your number. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I so, just, I, I, I made, I, I made some, some doozy mistakes in my life. But, oops, I didn't mean to. I was supposed to talk to Brenda. So sorry about this. Well, you said you're going to be talking about Sharon. Oh I'm no, Sharon. no, no, no! I That's just, what you said. That's what you said. And if my name is brought up at any meeting. Or if I have any kind of a problem, you're going to be sued. What? No, you can't sue us just for talking about you. Well, if you're talking about me negatively, I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, here. no, no, we're, we're, it's nothing negative. No, we're not even talking about you. I don't know where you got that crazy well, idea. You, I have this taped because it came on my uh, cell phone. Oh, no. And it's taped. You have, you have and a you tape recorder? You're going to be talking about... A tape, yes, a tape recorder every hooked up to your cell Everything, every call that I get when I don't recognize the name goes into a tape automatically. How bulky is that? Like, isn't it really huge? To, like, is it a, a regular size cassette Usually tape? Usually I don't answer. Is, Usually I don't answer. Is, is it a regular, but, like a Memorex uh, cassette tape or, you know, like one of those little micro no, cassettes? No, it comes, it comes with a phone. Oh, you said it, yeah, like what kind of tape does it take? How often do you have to well, replace the tapes? You called me, and I have the right to tape what you have, what you had to say. Yeah, and but... And you said you're, there's going to be a meeting, and it's going to be about Sharon... But does the tape physically start spinning when the phone rings, or is it like after the phone picks up, the, the tape recorder turns on? And it activates... I'm not your questions until you tell me about what you're going to discuss about me. Oh no, we're not talking. We're just we're just doing normal budget stuff, just normal everyday things, you know. Anyway, I well, got to come. Meeting. I I live here and I want to come to the meeting. 
Oh, it's, it's, uh, I think it's going to be at Brenda's house. At Brenda, what's her last name? At Brenda, then yeah, it's going to well, be about me? Well, are, are you going to call her? Like, maybe you should just call her. Like, I can put her on three-way. Here, hold on. Let, let's see if we can get her on three-way. Your call has been forwarded. Uh, she's not to there. She, I, just, I tried. She's not there. It goes straight to voicemail. Well, you can tell me. I know Brenda for many, many years. I mean, I tried her cell phone. Do you think her home phone will pick up? I don't know. Let's let's find out. And if her machine picks up, we gotta yell, Brenda, pick up, pick up, pick up. We, we gotta say it's it's Carol and and Sharon. Hello. Hello. Brenda, who's this? It's Sharon. I just Hi. had a telephone call, and um, there's a meeting at. And it's about me. Wait, what's this? Uh, I got a call from Carol Barenbaum. Okay, you know yeah. Who she is? I'm and not sure. She thought she thought I was she was calling you, and she said to me, "Actually, she's still on." Carol. She hung up, but she said there's a meeting tonight. And it's to discuss Sharon. What? And I said, yeah. Is and there I a meeting? Said, Did you know about this? I don't that? know. No, I don't know about this. And she said, this is Sharon. And she thought, she said, I thought it was Brenda. And I'm there. No, it's not Brenda. It's Sharon. And what are you discussing about me? And she said, no, it's going to be about Brenda. And I said, I know her. And uh, she said, well, she's really not a her. She's a him. What? Yeah. Would you believe it? So what the hell is going on? I don't know. Now, where's the meeting? From, I don't know. She wouldn't tell me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Jesus. Now, what's this person's name? Let me look her up. I'll try to call her. It came up on my phone as... Wait, wait. Let me get a pen. Wait, hold on. Hold on. What's uh, up is what? Give me her phone number. Does it have... You have it there? I just came up on my phone as A. Dillenbaum. Okay, and what's her... What's the phone number? Uh... I don't know if I'm going to disconnect with you. And then when she was calling you, uh, she tried calling you on yourself, so her number would show up on your cell. And then on my cell. phone number, right? Well, no, my cell number is different. No, uh, but I'm talking to you now on your home phone number? Yes, on my home. Uh -huh. She tried calling you on your cell, and there wasn't any answer. So if you check your cell right now, you'll have her number. Oh, well, okay. Is, would she be a Hatboro number? I don't know. Hello, this is the AT&T operator. Hello, I'm going to need you to deposit another 25 cents for the next three minutes. Are you on a pay phone, Sharon? No, I'm not on a pay phone. I'm on my cell phone. We just got to... Yeah, she, a she's on a pay phone, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, you need to put in a, another quarter you got three, for the next three minutes, or I'm going to have to cut off your call. Ma'am. Her name is Carol Barenbaum. Ma'am, I'm, okay. I'm the AT&T operator. I just need you to deposit a quarter. I'm not I'm on my cell phone. No, you're on a pay phone, ma'am. We can see the on the No, record. I'm on my cell phone. Ma'am, we know you're on a pay phone. Please put in a quarter. I don't want to disconnect your call. I can't put in a quarter. I need my cell phone. Just, just put a quarter in, ma'am. It's just a quarter. Hello. Oh, oh, the second lady. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I had to disconnect you because, uh, you know, you didn't put that quarter Brenda, in. I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. Yeah, you'll have to call Brenda back. Uh, but this time, you make sure you pay for it. I know I'm on my cell phone. I know, but you're, you're an AT and T operator. Yeah, but you're not. Can I have your? You're not paying for the next three three minutes, ma'am. I'm 
I'm just. I'm not. I'm a cell. I'm not on a payphone. I'm, I'm on a cell phone. Okay, I'm just customer service. I'm just doing my job, ma'am. You're supposed to. You're, you should have put in a quarter. It's fine. I'll cover I, it. On my cell phone. Yeah, yeah. It's. I'll cover it. It's fine. You don't. Don't worry about it. I've got it. I'll take care of it. Where was this call made? Where was the cell? Where were, Where was the payphone? It's at the Seven Eleven on the corner of. You know where you are, ma'am. You know where you are. No, I'm not. I'm I'm in a house. I'm on my cell phone. No, no, we can see it's a payphone, Ma- ma'am. I have to go. I've got no. a- other things to do here. I got to call other people. I'm so sorry. Okay. Ooh yeah! What's poppin'? I'm the Macho Maniac, and you've been watching another prank phone call by the Phone Losers of America. Dig it? These guys put out three shows a week. Every single week, you can hear more hilarious prank calls by subscribing to the podcast on snowplowshow.com. And remember to support these guys at patreon.com backslash phone losers. Ooh, yeah.